Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, join me in reflecting the gospel of the fifth Sunday of Lent in year B. We are reflecting from the gospel of John chapter 12 verses 20 to 33. In the gospel text, Jesus announces that his hour has come. In the earlier references to this hour, He always said that the hour had not yet come. We read that in John's Gospel chapter 2 verses 4 and chapter 7 verses 30 and chapter 8 verses 20. But now the hour has come. Jesus is ready for the battle. The hour of Jesus is a prominent theme in John's Gospel. and it refers to the events of the passion and the final glorification of Jesus Jesus sees the hour as a moment of suffering but he sees it also as a moment of victory and glory the glory only comes after a process of suffering and death This he likens to the grain of seed that dies before it bears fruits. Here we can see that Jesus is talking to the disciples, the presence of the Greeks. The Greeks wanted to see Jesus. The hour begins with the suffering and the humanity of Jesus is most seen in in his natural dread of the suffering expressed in his prayer to the father now is my soul troubled it is a moment of great agony the battle to liberate humanity must be fought the prince of this world must be thrown out all the principalities and powers that destroy the world and human destiny must be defeated someone must pay the price jesus knows the battle is hard he knows that as a human being he could wish it away and pray that the suffering dimension of the hour becomes eliminated at this point he teaches us how to face hard situations by putting everything in god's hands and will while his soul remains troubled jesus prays to the father and what shall i say father Save me from this hour. No. For this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. That is a very touching prayer. The gospel of this Sunday draws us closer to our destination. Christ himself tells us, Now the hour has come to us. for the son of man to be glorified what glory is there in suffering he is about to be arrested punished and killed yet jesus talks about his glory jesus saw beyond the clouds of pains and difficulties in order to behold the success and eternal life He knew that his suffering and death would restore life to many. So ra- rather than be discouraged by the temporary situation of suffering, he was encouraged and motivated by the honest reward of eternal life. Hence Jesus Christ offered his suffering and life in order to restore a broken covenant and eternal life for 
all who believe in him hence jesus says unless a grain of wheat dies it remains a single grain but if it dies it yields a rich harvest the firm resolution of jesus to follow the divine will means he is ready to suffer with this resolution the forces of darkness are doomed now shall the ruler of this world be cast out this is to be accomplished through jesus obedience to the father's will even unto death the second reading of today from hebrews chapter 5 7 to 9 highlights this aspect of obedience in the mission and the suffering of jesus while he groaned under the weight of suffering he remained obedient to the father and went through the whole hurdle to achieve human salvation all who follow him must do likewise in order to win the battle against the forces of evil the servant must do as the master does in order to be where the master is if anyone serves me he must follow me and where i am there shall my servant be dear friends jesus invites us to be strong along the path of life we must be ready to die as a grain dies in order to regenerate practically speaking we die every day when we stand up for justice when we stand for the truth and when we say no to sin corruption and immorality the christian battle against the forces of evil is not a physical battle it is a spiritual warfare it is a battle of obedience the battle begins from the heart the heart must be ready to obey god may god continue to accompany us in our daily struggle against the forces of evil god bless you